tremendous competitor, a man who has made sure that every time he stepped into the ring, he has been in 100% physical condition, and a man who is an intelligent wrestler, but a very, very strong and forceful wrestler, and could easily be the winner here this evening. His opponent, and he's from California, at 255 pounds, Sweet Ebony Diamond. Your thoughts about him, Lord Hayes? Well, everybody is willing Sweet Ebony Diamond to win this match. He certainly has the crowd behind him. Now, I think that's a great advantage for anybody. And I look to Diamond with his absolutely snap, crackling drop kicks to maybe carry the fight to Valentine and possibly overcome Valentine. All right, fans, 60-minute time limit, duration of program time. We'll be back. We'll have the action for you right after we take time out for this match. Well, we're ready now with the action for the NWA TV title. Duration of program time limit. Greg Valentine, Sweet Ebony Diamond, and Lord Hayes, twice now, these two have fought it out here on television in our 10-minute time limit matches. We have failed to have a winner during each match. They both have said that uh, they needed just a little more time. Each felt that he would have been, or ultimately have been the winner. Here it is, right here for all the marbles on television. Yes, and each time, although they did go to the time limit without conceding a fall each wrestler, those fights certainly spilled over, and they really went longer than that time limit. Such was their the uh, enthusiasm could not get them stopped in other words that's no. right that happened uh, on both occasions you just could not stop them the actually the feelings were so heated between these two yes and we also had beautiful several, lift and a heart slam right here by diamond we also had several precedents created in these history making matches when james crockett the president of the NWA was called in to make decisions when the referee felt that this was such a prestigious title and such an important moment for both wrestlers that he alone was not going to have that responsibility cast upon his shoulders. Diamond with the arm, the reversal there by Valentine. Diamond again now with the arm and Valentine with the foot. Oh, and the feet right up under the chin. Diamond just showed you right there a little bit of the tremendous athletic ability he has when he just cut that backflip and sprang right to his feet. Hip toss headlock now by Diamond. Diamond moving tremendously fast in the opening moment of this one-hour duration television match. That I was going to ask you, uh, at the pace they are going, one hour at this pace would be a terribly long time, Lord Hayes. Yes. Um, I would believe, by looking at this match, that Greg Valentine, rather than Sweet Ebony Diamond, is pacing himself a little better. Off the rope, down goes Valentine with a good hard tackle. Oh, and he had him ready for the elbow, and Diamond almost had him, a quick count of two. A really close two. <laughs> Johnson moving at an amazing pace. Sweet Ebony Diamond with that headlock, a headlock on Greg Valentine. Really putting the pressure to him now, and he has got that headlock in very tight. Valentine again now, trying to break it. Just a tremendous amount of bad blood now between uh, these two wrestlers, between Sweet Ebony Diamond and Greg Valentine. And of course, it is understood, uh, I think, Lord Hayes, due yeah. to the fact that there is so much at stake the NWA TV Championship. And with it, goes a tremendous amount of prestige, money, and everything else that goes with a, with a championship of that caliber. Well, whoever is the victor, whether it be Diamond or Valentine, they will be offered matches all over the world. And promoters have already made allocations to book the victor. Well, Valentine came with that hammer blow in the corner, and retaliating was Diamond. Another one right there from Valentine. That was a tremendous punch. Good leg takedown here by Diamond. Up to this point, Bob, the momentum has been with Diamond. It appears.
appears that Diamond has carried it to Greg Valentine. He has been on the offense and is staying right with it. Now, Valentine. Right down hard across the throat. A hammer. That sledgehammer blow to the back of the neck and the back. This Greg Valentine can throw such tremendous blows, Lord Hayes. Yeah. As I was saying a little earlier, Valentine seems to have paced himself a little better than Diamond, and that may pay off in the long run. Diamond with that leg really got the pressure to it on this toe hole. That step over toe hole, and he has got all of his weight on that. Valentine trying to get free, manages to get him off his feet. And he twists right out. It's Valentine that's going to come up with the forearm blow as they trade him out here in the center of the ring. Headbutt by Valentine. Diamond. Or it was Diamond with a headbutt and Valentine that fell into the rope. Yes, but... Both men keyed up so mentally and so physically to this match. I don't think we've seen two finer athletes than Diamond and Valentine in the ring for such a time, for such a long time, Bob. Fans, remember, it is for the NWA TV Championship. It is for program time. Each wrestler having said he needed more time than the allotted time for the two previous matches on television. It's for all of the marbles this week. And we're going to stay with this match just as long as it goes along and should it go the entire program we will be showing this match the entire program and so many letters have come in since this decision was made approving of this bitter bitter feud going such a long time on television Lord Hayes Greg Valentine with the pressure on that arm and that shoulder and now with that knee drop right down across that muscle as Valentine got high into the air and he's gone back to the arm. He may be going to attack just one part of the body. Work on that arm. Stay right with it. He has a double wrist lock on Diamond with the palm down against the canvas. And all, if we could get a shot of that double wrist lock that Valentine has on Diamond and show how the palm is pressed and the pressure is all on that wrist. The whole weight of Valentine's body is on Diamond's wrist. And he is in pain. Ebony Diamond on the mat with Valentine really putting the pressure on the arm and the wrist. So you can see how his left hand is on the bicep of Diamond. Now he's taking that pressure off. And another tremendous knee drop. <laughs> but Diamond feet. took advantage of that opening. And hit him with two feet, yes, Bob. He got both feet right into the face and into the nose. But look at Valentine, quickly back to the attack. Another tremendous chop by Sweet Ebony Diamond, and another as he drives Valentine back into the corner. Hard to the turnbuckle. And right into a knee charges Sweet Ebony Diamond. He had him covered for a count of two. Valentine now again with a count of two. Yes, but Diamond has strength in his arm. Looked at him, shot him right off. A tummy drop. Valentine hits the mat. Oh, and a count of two now on Valentine. Diamond pressing very, very strongly now. And you remember the promise that Sweet Ebony Diamond made just a few days ago, Bob, that should he win this match, he will unmask himself. Take his mask off. That's right. Sweet yeah. Ebony Diamond saying that if he won and he became the NWA TV champion, he would take off his mask. Which is also unprecedented, I believe, Bob, because it's usually a match where... If the other man is the winner, then the mask is removed from the loser. 
I see we have uh, Ron Ritchie taking a very interested note of the proceedings here. Valentine oh, with a suplex. Oh, a tremendous suplex. But Valentine is suffering as well. We also have yeah. some other wrestlers coming out here to watch this most exciting match. A match that is so important. Upon it rests so many laurels. A collision as Diamond was coming off of the ropes and coming off hard and they're both groggy. And Diamond trying to get to his feet and is not able to. And we have Muslin also here watching this match. All the wrestling world is so interested in what is happening here. An awfully close call there by Valentine. Diamond was almost pinned, Lord Hayes, and an yes. elbow smash there, that bionic yeah. elbow yeah. of Valentine, and he's going to give him another one. Oh. Oh. And what a good job Diamond moved from that, because it would have certainly knocked him out. In the sleeper. Off of the road, Diamond has got him in the sleeper. Everybody is applauding <laughs> Diamond. They're going absolutely crazy here. It could be the end right here for Greg Valentine. <laughs> Hard to the turnbuckle, right on the head. Valentine drove him into the corner. And he hit that turnbuckle head first, Lord Hayes. And both men down. And here's Mother exhorting him to get up. They're around the ring. Muslin is... Diamond certainly has so his support here. Into the corner now goes Diamond just choking Valentine. Uh, I think that we're going to have to go to a break here, Bob. Um, but don't worry because we have a camera here and if anything should happen while we're on this break, it will be uh, tape recorded and we will show it to you immediately. So. Unfortunately, we do have to leave at this hectic moment, but we won't be missing any of this at all when we go for this break. All right, fans, and we'll be back. We'll be back with the action right after this message. The action was mounting and mounting, and several other wrestlers have come out to view this. We now have Paul Jones here. We now have Frank Monty here. We now have Charlie Fulton here. Everybody is so excited. The place is going crazy. I've never heard such a pandemonium. We don't need Diamond doesn't have all, all of it. No. Valentine heading back up for a moment. A reversal here and... What, I can't quite see what happened. What the referee said ring going, the bell. He's going to break. No, he's pulled his arm down. But I can't Valentine stop. is the winner. I am going to try and get a personal interview. Diamond is the winner. With the winner. Well, we, want to, we were most impressed by the way you fought this battle. And we... from behind and they're trying to stop him now everybody's trying to stop he him. Hit him he hit him right across the head with that belt and that metal part that big heavy buckle of the belt valentine hit him right across